Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the shed. I'm Lonnie. Hey, good morning. I'm Candace. Welcome back. It's Monday morning, and uh, let's see, what did we do over the weekend? We went garage selling in the rain on Saturday. We said we weren't going to go last week. Uh, can't, that's how Candace is, though. She came in here Friday night. I was playing. Like 10 o'clock at night. I was, I, was in, I was out here doing something on the computer here. She comes in, she goes, there's there's some garage sales to go to. I'm like, all right, fine, we'll go. And that was after earlier she had said it's gonna rain. It's like, not worth I'm going. Like not just rain. Like it, we had thunderstorms predicted, maybe hail, like and, bad weather. And guess what? We shouldn't have gone. We picked up some things. We did. We got a couple of things. Mine uh, was aggravated because uh, oh, it was raining so hard. I need to buy you some rain boots. <laughs> no, I just don't. Well, I, I knew it was bad. Well, I ended up putting twelve um, sales on my list, and we went to. Well, there was a few that they weren't happening. You know, we did find enough. I think we found enough to justify the 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 time and mileage. I guess. Uh, yeah, one really cool thing. We're gonna show you that stuff tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. And then um, yesterday we went to one estate sale. Um, Molly was uh, at her at the Girl Scout camp, and um, so on the way to pick her up, there was actually an estate sale on the way we stopped at, and then they had like this highway sale, which it was only like what maybe ten stops. Yeah, it's a very small highway up there, also. So we went to those. Um, it was. It, we got a few more things. Yeah, a couple of things. It wasn't that great. I don't think it's something we'd ever go back to. No, but, but um, yeah. we had to kill some time anyway before we went to pick up Molly, so it worked out fine. Yeah, and so um, yeah, we'll we'll go ahead and show you all that stuff in tomorrow's video because today we have a lot of orders to pull. Yeah, it was a pretty good sales weekend. Yeah, um, we have one large thing that sold for a lot of money um, that we're gonna pull last, but we have a lot of stuff to get to before that. It's about nine o'clock, so uh, we need to get to it. All right, first item is a card on four Bravo A seven zero. Okay. I might try and pull it back here, y'all. Let's see. And boom, I got it. I think. Let's see if it's the right card or not. Running air conditioner from early morning now, so it's uh What's up with this card? It's got a it says Michael Turner, but it's a chick in a bikini, right? Am I looking at it right? uh michael turner hollow rainbow chrome cards yeah i don't know what that it says it says it on the back of this too and yeah it's a it's a girl in a bikini is that what it is oh yeah that top cow company they always had like comics and stuff like that because i've sold a bunch of their comics they do like bikini girls and whatnot for some reason i don't know why okay <laughs> that's all for five dollars and 66 cents okay um on for delta dracula a Okay. Yeah, we have a we have quite a few Monster High going out today, of course. And it feels like Monster High is going to last forever, but it, it's not. We're, yeah, we went and picked up some more from storage, and we're we're going to be out of Dracula and Frankie in the next couple of weeks, I think. Yeah, and then we the next couple of years to sell the rest of them. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, one Alpha ULM jersey. Okay. Do we have any other jerseys? We do. I know we have another jersey to pull because I'm going to have to take these things down. It must be way up here. It's a King's jersey. So I'll go ahead and. Uh, I'm not even sure where it yeah. is in here. Uh, well, I have some stuff. Okay, so I have the ULM jersey you just called out. Yeah, it's right here. And then the King's jersey. And then I have a Los Angeles King's jersey I'm going to pull too while I have this, yeah. this down. Is it in that other box? Or you got it's it? in the other box. All right, this is the other jersey right here that sold. This ULM baseball jersey was cool. I think it's probably team issue, but I'm not sure. Yeah, uh, that sold for 40 really fast too mm -hmm. like within yeah. a few hours yeah and then the king's one sold for 25. okay all right we sold some more safety glasses yeah who bo that's either black orange or blue orange or body odor 
Let's see. We Must be these, I hope. Yeah, B O. I think that's blue. It's like a navy blue and orange. Mm -hmm. Got them. Yep, those sold for eight dollars and nine cents. Okay. <clears throat> Five Bravo Clio Denial. Well, you've been busy. Yeah, I came in actually Saturday afternoon and cut out and wrapped up a bunch. I see that. A whole little crate of them. $12.59 for her. Eight Delta. We have a baseball glove, Louisville Slugger. Let's see. A glove here. This is probably it. Yeah, Louisville Sluggers. Slugger series. Yeah, got it. Fifteen dollars and twenty-nine cents. Okay. All right. The next order um, is three friction sparking cars. She reached out to us to do a bundle deal. They're in Digimon Tiger and Bolo. These are shilling cars. Little futuristic looking things. They're uh. This one sparks. Yeah. And then you have one that didn't spark, huh? Yeah, I think so. This one sparks too. They all work. Yeah. They all one of the sparking didn't work, I think. Yeah. This one right here. Must need a new flint. Those sell for uh, 35, all three of them. And she also bought some hats, so let me find those. Okay. Okay, she bought two hats. They're both on 10 Echo. Um, a Green Bay Packers and a White Sox. Okay, yeah, th those are some of the hats we got from Bev. And actually, those are some of the nicer hats we got from Bev. Yeah. These are uh, fancy, fancy hats. Well, that for is what? not the Packers hat. Or, yes, it is. Yeah, it is. It this is good. right? Yeah. Look, this one has the tags. New that's a nice hat yeah. and then the other hat was uh white socks yeah and that's a 5950 white socks hat there yeah. there's also new with tags together they sold for 44 dollars and 18 cents so that order is about 80 bucks right there let me go put these hats up all right on 10 delta uh 75 years of batman figure and the 10 this is eight Let's see this is one of them it's got dust on it I imagine this is probably the right one I wonder how many of those we have left we might not have any left I don't I don't really see them anymore does this look like the right guy to you look yeah that's, that's him. him okay That's all for $24. So I have to dust off the tin. These have been listed for a pretty good while. Yeah. Probably about a year and a half. Yeah. Um, and the guy drawer, Capsella vehicle. A little gray spaceship looking thing. Yeah, I saw that so I had no idea. That's a weird thing. That what? came from an estate sale. Okay. Sold that for $10.79. Was, was that the sale that uh, you got that stomper from? No. No? This was like, ooh, it's been a while. Um, that was a, a state sale on Bocage. Okay. Um, the next order has two items, some more safety glasses. These are BY. That's black yellow or blue yellow. Looks like that is blue and yellow. Okay, I got those. And then in the Boba Fett drawer, a uh, Cayman Rider, little vinyl figure, little squatty guy, he's blue and yellow. Wait, also blue and yellow? Yeah. Squatty guy? Is he, this guy, is that him? Yeah. Okay. Well, they got a thing for blue and yellow. That's all, those two together sold for $16.18. All right, we sold a fat boy, R29. 
Uh, all you can do is laugh when you say that, huh? Fat boy. Okay. That's not really that. That's not really much of a fat boy, though. Well, compare it to the other handles. Oh, uh, this is a adjustable. Yeah, that's the expensive one. That's all for seventy six dollars and four. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I remember that. All right. Yeah, that was a good sale. It has a little dial on the like the neck, and when you turn right here, it, yeah. it can expose more of the razor the bigger the number gets. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. You want to pull one more? Yeah. All right. Um. A, uh, Eighty-eight broken claws B two hundred one. Does that mean anything? That's gonna be in four Bravo. I hope. <laughs> I'll bring it over here. Probably did that whenever I had one box for all the cards, you know? That sounds like one of my location buttons. Okay, what, what is it again? Uh, it has 88 and then B201, so I don't know. Oh, it has both? Yeah. Okay. Hopefully, well, I do, my B's do go that high. Right, hang on, let me see. Broken claws, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah, I got it right here. It uh, looks like a pirate. No, that's a multi quantity. Never mind. It's fine. I have it. I got okay. the right card. Broken okay. claws. That's all for $5.39. All right, I'm going to go ahead and get this stuff packed up, and we have at least two more rounds, I would guess. Yeah. I think. All right, round number one is packed and in the IKEA bag. I'm going to bring this out, and Candace is ready for round two. All right, Candace, let's do round two. All right, you sold your Costco books or Costco. I don't know how to say it. Costco? Costco. Yeah. Uh, Love and Alpha. Yeah, and we had a, quite a few comments on that video where people were talking about how um, he was ordered, the author of the book. Oh, yeah, yeah. He was ordered to, like, shoot up a Vietnamese village or something. Yeah. And he and, became a POW. Yeah, he became a POW, and then he wrote, he wrote, there was one book... Oh man, I can't remember. Yeah, I'm what it was called, but yeah, if y'all look the guy up, y'all y'all can. Very interesting life. Look at the story, and then he also apparently did he write these in prison too? I don't know. Or he created it, or the the concept, or whatever. Maybe wrote one. Yeah. Yeah. So but, that's, there's 18 books. We sold those for 150. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. When I got them, I knew they were good, but I didn't know that they were like. $150 good. I'm going to have to get the step stool and get the rest of them. But, uh, you know, so I got them all down. But, uh, anyways, the estate sale we got them at, they, they were 25 cents a piece, right? Yeah. So we have how many books? 18. 18 times 25 cents. That would be 20, would be 5 minus 2. $4.50. So it'd be $4.50. Mm -hmm. Turned into 150 That was that's i don't know there's not that many paperback books that you can get that kind of money especially for. the condition right? yeah they're they weren't they're not in very good condition no look they have num some of them have numbers written on them yeah of course all that was disclosed yeah but they're definitely well read so yeah. yeah pretty amazing yeah home run there all right next item is 10 foxtrot apple macbook pro okay parts only yeah with some boots Ten fox. Oh yeah, it's right here. Okay, it's Capone. It comes with boots. No, it said I said it boots. I just showed it like it boots, but yeah, the screen's all messed up. There's all kind of probably problems with it, or it might you know like if I would have spent, maybe I could have spent a little more time with that to make a little more money. But the way I looked at it, how much did we sell it for? Forty nine dollars and forty nine cents. The way I looked at it five dollars into 50 yeah. with minimum time spent i was happy with that, the way that went down all day long yes all right five charlie converse navy blue sneakers five charlie yeah sure i have to go to the other side okay. well no i can reach them i see them they're uh they're the oh i know which ones those are those are the ones that are like they're not like normal converse no they're slip-ons with elastic on the back they're called shoreline Sold those for $30.59. Okay. All right, the next um, 
order going out someone reached out to us and wanted we didn't have any draculores listed at the time so she's like can you make me a deal on these five monster high dolls and we're like of course yeah and we also have a draculor that's not listed would you like that too and she said yeah so she's actually buying all six dolls yeah. I have them bundled up over there, ready for Lonnie to pack them up. Yeah, Candace just cut them up. It's those, all six, but they're re, they're cut up and repackaged because shipping that to Canada, it's going to Canada, by the way. Yeah. Shipping that to Canada would have been like very expensive and shipping this to Canada. And she understood she was buying them with. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, so not a problem there. Uh, ended up selling those for 90 plus ship. Yeah, that was a good deal for us and uh, good for her too, I'm yeah. sure. Next item, FNAF hat. Oh, yeah. It's in here. That's the freaking. With Fosbear, is that his name? I don't know what his name is. Isn't, yeah, Freddy what? Fosbear. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you could be walking along and just, hey. D hey look, what's up? Look, look at, I, I, I really like the way their mouths just like, they're like trap door mouth. Uh huh. <laughs> it makes them even creepier, huh? It does. Hey, that sold for $12.59. I, I think I paid a couple bucks for that a couple weeks ago. Yeah. All right, we have a Razor R27. It ain't gonna beat that last Razor we pulled. Nope. This one is $18. It's still good though. Yeah. Man, that sucker is clean. Look, you, man, you can really see the Gillette logo yeah. on it. I, I mean, like that's... goes with the Gillette on the front. Like that's that. a good one. Yep. All right, 10 Charlie, a video game, Xbox One, Wolf Among Us. Yep, the Wolf Among Us, got it. That sold for $6.47. Okay. Then in the D and D drawer, a Nintendo game, Earthworm Gem. D and D. Here we go. The mess. Oh no, that's a uh, manual, right? Oh yeah, instruction manual. My bad. No, that's fine. Thirteen dollars yeah. and forty-nine cents. You know what SNES means? Super Nintendo. There you go. System. Yes, it does. That's right. <laughs> All right. Next order has two pair of shoes, A three and Fox Trot Eight. Uh, so I think we're going to be on both sides, huh? Yeah. A3 and Foxtrot 8. Shoot, I can get F8 right here. I think. Oh, okay, I got F8. And these are the same buyer? Are they the same size? Yep. Alright, I got F8. And what's the other one? A3. Alpha 3. Uh, let's see. Let's slide these guys over. All right. And slide this guy out. Drop this guy down. There we go. Got it. Those two together, $35. Nice. Good. We'll pull a couple more here. All right. We have a Walmart pen, number nine. Think we'll ever sell all these i think i don't think we possibly could yeah we're gonna have to uh, make sure in our wheel that molly and sarah know to split them up yeah them. okay <laughs> that'll be like that that'll be like that old uh photo meme photo of that couple splitting up the beanie babies in divorce court <laughs> it's nine one, yeah it's um it's, i got it's, it got a gold it's got a star on 20 it. year yeah okay six dollars and 29 cents You know, the reading of the will. <laughs> All right, Sarah, you get W1 through 137. <laughs> huh? What's that? You'll see. Molly, you get all the Claudine Wolves. <laughs> all right, six Delta uh, Game Boy show, uh, carrying case. Nintendo six, Game Boy six carrying Delta? case. Six yeah. Delta? Yeah. Delta. Vintage. Oh, the vintage one. Yeah. Right. Yeah, this is cool. It's a Game Boy Color carrying case, just like Candace said. $14.39. All right, 
Alrighty, uh, let's see how many things we got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Let's go ahead and do another one or two. All right, uh, four Stephen King books on ten Delta. We sold a larger lot of Stephen King books the other day, last week. And we had these. Well, one's a hardcover and three are paperbacks. One thing I love about the books is that the shipping is always going to be fairly reasonable because they're media rate. All right, next, are those sold for 17? Okay. We have a Razor R15. Right. R15. Let's make that the last thing this round. All right. Starting to get crowded up here. This is one of the Jim Jangers with a big light handle. Yep. 17 for that. That's old style. Yep. All right. So that's everything for round two. Let me get this stuff packed. All right. I made an order uh, from Bubble Boy. I got the big bubbles, which I used on this laptop here just now. See? It's perfect. I'm not going to do anything else because the box is tight on it, too. So that, that's fine. I did bubbles both ways, around that way and around that way. And uh, yeah, the... that's one of the rolls. We were looking at it. I'm like, man. It looks skinny. It looks so skinny. And he measured it. And it was 12 inches. Yeah, I mean, it is. I think it's an optical illusion because the bubbles are so big. Right. I mean, it is 12 inches, but yeah. just looking at that and then looking at this, that just looks skinny. I, I fought buying big bubbles for a long time. But there are some times when big bubbles are just good. Yeah. Like it makes the job easier. You don't have to have them usually. It offers so much more protection. It's, yeah, it really yeah. does. And like this case, it made packing that way easier, and it's it made it a much safer package. Yeah. So I yeah. think the thing came with three of those. Yeah, it was like a multi-pack deal, three of them. Yeah, and then uh, I'll show y'all in a little bit. I'll show y'all the. Uh, we did buy some more small bubble too. Yep. Yeah. From Bubble Boy, I got, and one one got here. Uh, we ordered them what Friday, Thursday, and one got here Friday. We have one got here like the next day, and then these got here this Today. morning. Yeah. So the sh their shipping is uh, still good. Yeah. Still really good. Like that that was two business day, and the other was like next business day. Right, less than so, twenty four hours, I think. Yeah. Link down below to Bubble Boy if you want to try them out. Okay, I wanted to bring this up because you see these two shoe boxes, they fit in here perfectly in a number seven, 12, 12, eight box. Perfect fit. Um, I would have assumed that two pairs of shoes would have shipped cheaper via parcel post. And that is just not the case, y'all. Um, it's going from Louisiana to North Carolina, so relatively close and parcel select where I use one of my own boxes, $8.65, which is pretty cheap, right? I mean, that's relatively cheap now. Yeah, I'm liking these new rates. Yeah, but no, it gets even better. Priority mail, I'll show y'all, look. There's parcel select, there's priority mail. If I do priority mail, $7.25, four pounds, 12, 12, eight. That's crazy. So, yeah. It's cheaper, it's just a little more expensive than the highest priced um, first class package. Yeah. It's nuts. And you get a free box. And I use their box. Yeah. So I don't know, what what are they doing? They, they, they raised probably price? realized how much business they lost when they went up so much on their pricing. Yeah, but now, now their inferior product, Parcel Post, is more expensive than their superior product <laughs> where they give out free boxes yeah. and have insurance and supposedly better service uh, is cheaper. I'm starting to think they don't know what they're doing up there. Yeah, that might be why they're always having money issues. Uh, yeah, I'm happy though. Like yeah. I, I like this new change. It works. And it, it really only applies to like the nearby zones. You, you said it was like zones. Six, six zones, like the six closest or something like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So like it wouldn't apply to California or right. something for us. Right. All right, I actually have to pull one more order. This Walmart pen that we pulled a minute ago 
I actually check, I actually do a search uh, of outgoing orders, especially when I have a lot. I search by username just to make sure there's not more. And usually there's not, but this time it discovered one we hadn't pulled yet, um, which they bought the next day. So it wasn't right next to the other order. Uh, they bought that one at night and they bought this one early the next morning. So we have another Walmart pen that sold for $7.19 plus shipping. And I will combine the shipping on this too. All right, both, both the first two rounds are waiting for carrier. We got one more round of USPS to go. Yep. You ready? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm ready. Because okay. after I do this, I get to eat lunch. Okay. All right. Uh, we have a Walmart pen, 266. Ready? Pin. Uh, got lucky. I saw store it. number 1298 Jacksonville. Jacksonville, Florida, 1995. So over $9. Alrighty. What's next? One Charlie baseball glove. Rollings. And we got gloves all over the place. I just spread them out. I used to keep them all in the same place, but. This is probably a better way to do it. Yeah, that's how I do it with similar stuff. So yeah. No confusion, no mistakes. Right. Or much less chance. Anyway, see, I have a glove here. I have a glove here. You said one Charlie. Yeah, it's a Chris Bryant Rawlings with issues. This is a, this is a probably a, I don't remember how much. It probably would have been like $30 or so. Or maybe a little more. But you could see, like, look. That finger is all chewed up by like a dog. Yeah. And so is that one right there. Yep. So that's pretty serious condition issue. So I made it super, pretty cheap. $15. Yeah. yeah. That's one of the ones we got. Um, I paid $30 for 10 gloves. Yeah. All right. Next item is an umpire's mask. 10 Echo C. We have one mask left. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, I was like, are we going to even sit down to sell these things? And they have. Yeah. We got 17 for that one. Okay. And the alien drawer, Polaroid photo paper. Oh, alien? Yep. It's over here. It's a, I've sold this before. I'm surprised this hadn't sold yet. It's a buck knife. All right, there's supposed to be four of them. It says 40 sheets. Okay, four 10 packs. Okay. $13.49. Okay. We sold a Razor R40. Man. Razors are moving out. Okay, got it. 13 for that one. Okay. We have a Claudine Wolf on 4 Echo. Bravo, Charlie, Delta. Okay. Oh, that's a... Uh, Team Wolf Girl. Man, you really cut out a lot. I did. <laughs> and wrapped them up. Yeah. Oh, look. You got a whole bucket of deuce. Okay, nice. Okay. <laughs> she sold it for $9.89. Okay, dope. In the chest drawer, we have a Garbage Pail Kids card. Dysentery. Yeah, we act. This is, uh, this is kind of interesting. We had. This was listed, but it, we had bad dimensions on it yep and um so there was no shipping available like nobody could buy it right because we had a uh, ebay standard envelope with like 888 666 or something 666 dimensions and somebody in california messaged us uh yesterday i think and they said uh hey uh i want to buy this car but the uh, ebay is telling me that you guys won't ship to california <laughs> As soon as they said that, I'm like, oh, so we've got our shipping screwed yeah, up. We need to check our other cards that were listed around that time. Yeah. Because we might have several that are like that. Scratch and stink. <laughs> Gross out your parents. Scratch the front for a stinky surprise. Okay. That's all for $15.29. Yeah, and that is going uh, eBay standard envelope. All right. Three Alpha Pinnacle Studio Movie Box Ultimate. Yeah. We actually had the box for this and everything. 
But, oh man, it's way under there. Let's see, oh, Billy, let's see, I gotta get, oh man. All right. That's like Tetris. Yeah, re reverse Tetris. I gotta get this box out of there, so I'm gonna put y'all down. All right, I did have a big retail box for it, it was huge. I just took the stuff out of it and uh, made it, was it smaller. Some of that packaging where it was just way over, just it, they wanted it to be shown on the shelf. Exactly. Like, take up a lot of retail space yeah this is from the kevin and ding y'all buy how much do we get for it 35 okay nice six bravo vintage uh, sfx 4000 science fair kit assembly and experiment manual book something yeah i remember you listing this figure out where it is okay yeah this was yeah, it's got a bunch of projects in it to do with that um that w kit with that kit yeah what would we get for that 13. that's crazy man yeah. that's wild i can't believe you got that much for that okay that'll go well on a comic mailer too all right a razor r43 it's a little stubby looking guy there okay so for 15. all right and then um, the last USPS eBay item, eight Delta Build a Bear, My Little Pony Zecora. Zecora. So eight Bravo. Delta. Eight Delta. Hmm. I think it must be this one. This is it here, right? Yep, that sold for forty dollars. You have any idea what you paid for that? Um. We bought, we went to a garage sale where they had all these My Little Pony um, Build-A-Bears, and I think I did five, got them for five dollars each. Okay, so you did pay a little bunny for it. Yeah, I did. They had them like individually priced, and I said if I bought them all, you know. All right, eBay is better for most stuff, better than Macari. Yeah. For most stuff, except Macari and eBay. Macari may even be a little stronger than eBay for Monster High. Yeah. Um, it might be. We, we sell them as soon as we list them over there. Um, so we have two Draculauras left. They both sold in Mercari. Okay. And then actually, while I was packing one of the other rounds, so these are both our two Mercari orders. Uh, Candace had... I went ahead and listed some more, pack, but I didn't put them over there so they wouldn't get mixed up. Right. Yep. So we've got... Four more in the chamber here. Yep, two on eBay, two on Macari. Let's see who sells them first. Yeah, let's see who sells <laughs> them first. All right, let me uh, go ahead and get this stuff packed. This ought to be a pretty quick round here. This is all like super duper easy then stuff. We have a big thing to pack. And then we have one more big thing. All right, all USPS is gone, and we have one more order. It was a really good one. Yes. Came in Friday, and it's for that suitcase right there. Yeah, we sold that for 400 400 plus shipping on top and i i mean these do this how much does this retail for new I, I, i'm trying to i think it was like 1200 dollars or something crazy yeah like that. it was it was really high and yeah. like our condition was good yeah like there's a little bit of wear on it like yeah, you got a little like scuff there a little, little bitty scratch there like the plastic has little scuffs like that but the fabric and the inside is super clean you know it's just in it's a wonderful yeah. condition yeah and you can tell they just they built them just to, to last you yeah know? look yeah. it's even got all the paperwork and the straps and yeah a lock and everything in there so yeah happy with that that was a part of a kevin and danielle buy and they said it was worth a bunch of money i'm like yeah okay suit suitcase yeah sure it is and we kind of looked it up on we the did, spot yeah and i'm like okay yeah it probably is but it's hard to find a lot of these things uh sales because i don't think there's a ton of them out there because they're so no, expensive this, this model here or they still make this model but not this color so i really had to search to find it because i wanted to make sure i got the right keywords being that expensive i wanted somebody to be looking for it yep and i did find it so um yeah and it, I just listed it what maybe two weeks ago if that yeah. it, it wasn't it wasn't up long we actually brought it to storage it sat in storage for about a week and then yeah. we were back to pick it up uh what yesterday we went and picked yep. it up 
so i'm gonna have to go i have to make two trips for this one because i gotta go out i don't have i i was hoping i could use i have a couple of mediums it's just too big yeah and i don't want to i don't want to make it like too tight because i don't want i want to be able to protect the wheels and also i want to really be able to protect the handle and stuff i don't want any of that any stuff plastic that could break getting bent yeah. yeah so i'm gonna have to go get me a yeah, maybe a large or extra large or too large i don't know what i'm going to do yet but it's probably going to be some franken boxing involved here yeah so uh, i'll show you all the end result after i figure out what exactly i'm going to do first step though i know i have to i'm going to get some measurements rough measurements and then go to home depot and see what i think mm -hmm. all right so i ended up buying two large boxes from home depot and you can see basically one one box up to the flaps with the flaps up it goes into and then i just put another box right on top and it's good to go and um i did use one wrap of bubble wrap around the handle and that that hardware there i did put more on each of the wheels and we're good to go that was actually really easy that Once was I, a good fit huh yeah perfect so you just took another box cut the flaps off to double give it a no look. no i didn't i didn't cut anything oh both boxes are just stacked on top of each other oh so, i got you i got see you. this is the top flap this That's is like this gotcha except it's not closed so i had to put another one on top just to give it a little more height and to close so i could close it and then it also gives you extra yeah cardboard protection too not that you really need it it's a high quality piece of luggage but still no, you know can't hurt. so no it can't hurt and yeah I, mean, I don't think you could have packed this any smaller no so it's perfect yep it helps to have the right supplies doesn't it yeah <laughs> it really does all right candace what do you think of my package it's beautiful candace always says that about my packages <laughs> <laughs> That sucker's huge, huh? Yeah. It, it is actually very nice looking. Yeah. It's a very handsome package. It is. And it really is. It's very huge too. So look, this check this out, y'all. This thing is huge. 28. Well, no, I'm gonna be a little more specific. <laughs> <laughs> my huge package. Uh 20 my package is 28 inches by 25 inches by 16 inches you wish what, what are you looking at <laughs> <laughs> and it weighs 20 pounds <laughs> oh man nothing like a little threes company humor to end the day huh yeah. but no look this this thing seriously this thing it's going to washington dc it is going to a uh well i'm not going to say because there's nothing else but i can't tell y'all to a person in washington dc yes we do know who it is yeah it is someone of some i don't know they're not famous or anything but they i've they, never heard of them they are important though they are a very important person. so um anyway ups is 56 dollars 18 they paid 58 it ended up being one inch smaller than uh <laughs> why are you looking at me than i anticipated it being i hate when that happens <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, i knew that was I knew this was bad. Uh, let's see. The other choices. FedEx would have been 65 FedEx home delivery would have been $9 more. Um, you, you can do a flat rate legal envelope. Yeah, I know. I love, <laughs> I love how when you put those stupid dimensions in, they give you those options still. Yet, if you mess up and put 666, yeah. they, won't let, they won't let someone buy your, uh, your trading card. Your baseball card, card for $15. Right. Yeah. All right. And then let's see um fedex standard overnight would have been 414 this is what i was looking for usps parcel select yeah that's the cheapest way to ship a big package right yeah only uh, 171 friggin dollars maybe a medium package look 171 dollars y'all yeah and then let's see look one more to look at is priority is it even on here is it maybe not oh it, it won't even let oh it's like oh you can't afford it says, this it says your length and your length and your girth are too big for us <laughs> <laughs> it sucks to be usps <laughs> <laughs> so anyway 56 dollar package going out um 
Candace, you're over there running your noisy machine. Yeah, we had to wait for it to finish so we could film. Yeah, I went over and looked. I was like, it was, that thing was going. <laughs> and I was like, man, I went and looked. It's like 80 seconds left. I'm like, all right, we can wait until we film this clip. So, yeah. Yeah, this is going out. It wasn't that bad. Once I got the boxes, it took me, what, 10 minutes? Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. So, very happy with that flip, though. Hopefully, the uh, very important person will enjoy. I don't see how it. they couldn't. No, I, I agree with I you. I would be I thrilled agree. to have that suitcase. You can't have it. I don't want it. Okay. But that's going to be it for this one. Thanks a bunch for watching, and we will see y'all again very soon. Bye, y'all. Bye.